Sweet. We've done our sound check and we're good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning at this beautiful 9.47 in the morning. How are you doing? You legends. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. We can apply our changes now that we're streaming. No, no screen tears for me today. I've solved me problem finally. Thank God. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom. My goal is to stream every single GTA game until GTA 6 trailer comes out at this point. I know a trailer's already come out, but we're on about the second trailer. Hey, good morning. Hi, right, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, welcome in. We are trying to play every single GTA game until GTA 6 drops its second trailer. We've played GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas. We've played them all. We played GTA 4 recently, we finished that. And now it is time to play GTA 5. And I am loving it. I'm loving being back in Los Santos, getting to go back with some fresh eyes and going back from it from day one. I'm really excited. I'm so gassed to be back in Los Santos. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Oh, Devin I Weston. Michael happy. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, What's the story behind the Lord? He okay. said you were retiring but might need some help. <laughs> on the that story out there. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That Give me a bit of context. problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> I love seeing how happy Michael gets working for Solomon because he's like he's like a big film nerd. Getting to work with his favorite director. <laughs> I always regretted in my first GTA 5 playthrough never buying the movie studio because I realized you could eventually invest in it and my Michael and single player just never bought it. So like I want to try and when it's buying the businesses I'm waiting until the end of the game and then gonna start buying the businesses that way. Hey Solomon. Love your I'm just content. doing that thing. thing. Thank good, you. good. Now I realized in Thank my excitement I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. So, no clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's good? also Are you in my director's ear as well. 
if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. I'm very good. Are you doing good? I'm always good when I'm driving a fast car through the streets of Los Santos. Makes me, it makes me smile. Right. We gotta sneak in. We gotta grab our guy. We gotta get him out. Get him out. Work early today. Just some nice, nice. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants. Tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. We gotta stealth our way up to the helicopter pad. Oh. Let's get over this bad boy. Sneak our way up there. Sneak past them. The right. oh. There he is. Found a guy. We get up. Stuff mode. Dun 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 Day trips over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, Wait. you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? Whoa. No, this guy's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> come on, then. Huh. Ah. Nice try. One more. Come on. One more. Come on, Rocco. Whoop. You missed me. Who is this guy? Oh. Come on. One more. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, bitch. Ugh. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Come on, swing, take a swing, take a swing. Come on. proof you don't get Oh. 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 Dropped him. Right, That'll be the last we hear from him. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. <laughs> you right. leave my people alone, and I won't throw you off. Let's this get roof. back to the lot. <laughs> Yay! Let's go. I've been, I've been bars. We are not going anywhere. This way. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new. Drive recklessly in the helicopter until the axe is given. Give in bars, or I'm gonna make this helicopter do some crazy shit. 
<laughs> I'm gonna make this helicopter go crazy. Ready? Let's go into this bridge, shall we? Oh, I'm going for all the bridges. I'm going for all the bridges. I'm going for all of them. Hey, Why under all the bridges? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. I will go back under these because. bridges. We did it. That was a mission well done, boys. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little beat up. How about I call my guy, go in the middle jolly, and call Solomon from where? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael. What can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Ah! <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I love how excited Michael gets. He's like, he's a career criminal. He's a career, he's a career criminal, and it's so nice to see him get gassed about something. Like, he's had such a different life to everyone else, but like at the end of the day, you see how much of a person he still really is. Deep down, he can get like excited and giddy about stuff. I love that. The characters, all three of these characters, were so well written, and even this time, like ten years later, I look at them and I go. How did you write them so goddamn well? How did you, first of all, most games stick to one major character and a few supporting characters, like a film. You stick to like one major character and then the supporting cast and the major character, as long as they're written perfect and they're, they're firing on all cylinders, that you really can get away with having a movie where there's one main character who does all the stuff and is the one we're all focused on. This game... I don't know why it did what it did, but they chose to go for not just one character, but they chose to go for three main... Because I can't pick a main one out of the three. So in my, in my biggest way of looking at it, they went for three main characters. They went for three main characters, and they somehow managed. And I will still never to this day never understand how they did it. They somehow managed to take three main characters... Give them all equal opportunities to shine and deliver a sick a sick story with three major roles. I think that's so hard to do from a writer's point of view. That would be so difficult to take three main characters in a story, make the story cohesive, 
and we know, like, obviously there's no spoilers there. We know that there's that there's multiple endings to this game. We know that there's multiple endings, and the multiple endings consist of the well, the more well, the mo most notorious bit is the death wish option, where the three of them are together. But then you have the other options, where obviously it's a Trevor, it's a kill off Trevor situation, or it's a kill off Michael situation. So they made three alternative endings to this game, with three of the best protagonists we've seen in one video game at any one time. Like, it's awesome. It's so, so well written. It's so well produced. Rockstar crushed it. And I think people were saying somewhere I saw online, someone saying, well, they've toned it down for GTA 6 because there's only two. And I, I think, if anything, that makes the pressure harder. Because I think having three main characters was impressive. And everyone's got a favourite, and a least favourite. With Jason and Lucia, I think having two focuses with one really good intertwined story, I can't wait to see what they deliver. Because the story alone in this is so well written. It's so well done. It's so well acted. I can't wait. I'm gassed. Don't shoot. I'm I owe you big. I yes, can you get your corker's ticket. Yes you do, madam. Yes you do. I saved a life. Because in the crime ridden streets of Los Santos, we have one man who can do everything. And that's Franklin Clinton. Oh, we got a message. Where do you reckon GTA 6 is coming out? Well, as a little gaming nerd that I am, following the, the, the world of GTA 6 as closely as I do, which is daily at this point, GTA 6 is rumoured by some reasonably good sources. Reasonably good sources have said early 2025. Ever heard of so that's Jackson Jan, Skinner? He's Feb, head of March. Development at Facade. I'd even extend it to April. So I would say it's going to be between January 2025 and April 2025. That's your window of time, I think. That's my, that's my, hey, dog, chill, my shit, idea. You, man. Some people say in February. Some people go in as far to say February 18th. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. Don't know. Stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, really don't know, but I'm guessing. Look at the fruit share <laughs> Alright, homie, I'll be in touch. If they make us, they'll be so tight of them. But it'll be also be so clever. It'll be so tight of them to make us wait until December 2024 to see a GTA 6 Part 2 trailer. Because people are saying April, people are saying summer, at E3 maybe. Who knows? I, I really don't know, but I wouldn't put it past Rockstar to make us wait until this December before we see another trailer and we only get two trailers we get GTA we have the GTA 6 teaser trailer which got leaked and then released by Rockstar officially December like December the 7th wasn't it like it was December time and then I pinned my reaction to the GTA 6 trailer to the top of the channel so when people click on my channel it's the first thing you see is my reaction to GTA 6's trailer um, and then we got the GTA 6 part 2 trailer which everyone's waiting for everyone's biting at the biting at the mouth foaming at the mouth Waiting, waiting to get the GTA 6 Part 2 trailer. Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. So this mission, we're doing a hit for Lester. So we're going to get on this, <laughs> this little hill with my sniper out. And we're going to watch for when this lady gets into a car with somebody. Not him. It's not him. Who's it going to be? I think it'll be between those two dates. I know I've just given you a few months there. <laughs> January, February, March, April. It's a four month window, but I think it's realistic. The first four months of 2025, I reckon.
You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Franklin Clinton's the cold, cold-blooded killer. He's the, he's the assassin. He's the assassin. That's his nickname. Franklin Clinton. Franklin the assassin Clinton. He's a little demon. Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Perfection. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. You got more? This has got more hits for me. Hey, hold on. I'm on the way to see Devlin. Devin Devin Weston. I need to have a good rummage around and try and see if I can find it, but I had a big old book. It'll be hidden somewhere in my house. I had a big old book of GTA 5, and when GTA 5 first came out, it was called the GTA 5 Compendium Guide, and it was like a massive book. It was like almost the size of like a massive phone book. It was huge, and it had all the tips and tricks, where to find your hidden items, where to find Easter eggs, where to find all the different, you know, bits and pieces. It was really, really cool. It was really, really cool. With Easter just around the corner, I want to do like an Easter egg video, all my favorite GTA um, 5 Easter egg videos. Um, find like five, like, get like a whole video out for like it being the Easter theme and like the Easter eggs and the Easter eggs in the video Put games. Up your makes hands sense. And stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right. You know how to work that face recognition shit already? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it okay, out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Why do we see if this thing picks up my man on the ground? Oh, but I just got more tape, please. Franklin Clinton. What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up with any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do what we looking for is down that way. I'll follow in the car. Howard, you heard the man. Wherever you want to go. got to hit three targets on the you south side. You my African American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh, you want to bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway. We do community outreach. Uh, we have minority quotas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your night nice stick's got a minority quota. I should take Okay. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. Chad right? Mulligan. Chad Mulligan. We can find him. Roger that. Get me in range. Ten years on the job and all day Not care about guy. peace and bottom line. Two guys on a rooftop going at it. Blocks east. Okay.
Can you pretend you're enjoying it? I'm already very insecure. This isn't helping. I'm paying you a decent wage. I expect some enthusiasm. Hey, Jai, you disrespecting my girl, man. We gotta keep looking. I've already paid her for a service. This Look at these two going at it. Nothing like a middle-aged throat fucking a dingy back alley to prove romance ain't dead. Merely arrested. We ain't after this one. And you're going off to work with all those pretty women. Come in, Franklin. We got a positive idea. We found him. We found the Chad. We have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay on and look out. Roger that. I'm following him. Speeding offenses. We have lost sight of the suspect. Might have to send Pilot Boy down to draw him out. Hold on, wait. He should come out from behind that building. Found him again. Franklin. What oh. happened? Hey, look, just stay on you, man, and let me know where he is. Suspect sighted going south on Dutch Drive. Suspect going west down alley toward El Rancho. Hey, where this fucking asshole at? Car going north on El Rancho. Found him. All right, I see him. I see him. I'm moving in. I'm gonna show him how to try that thing. You see him? Suspect back on Del Perro heading west. Frank, you gotta speed this up. He's getting away. Hey, where is he, man? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. I'm 
developing feelings for you. All right. Oh, this might help. Hey, you can still see me, right? I'm in the middle of the garage. I've got you. Hey, you reading other heat signatures on this level? We got a guy standing over by a row of cars, middle of the floor. Why would he be leaning against his car? Don't know what he's doing here, but he ain't him, homie. Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worse up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's drive this thing. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos Ooh. International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. <laughs> this girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. This is a fun fact for you here, but the Z-Type is actually a variation of the in-game Bugatti, because the Tough Aid Adder is the Bugatti Veyron of the GTA 5 universe. And this car's got the, the same exact Tough Aid logo on the back of it, so even though it's just called the Z-Type, it's the Tough Aid Z-Type sports car, so it's an old fashioned Bugatti Veyron sports car very cool one of my second cars to be purchased in GTA Online Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left Oh, piss. What? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I didn't mean it. I mean nothing by it. I was just... Oh, come on, man. Really? Gotta drive all this way. Yeah, give me. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos dead. International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. God, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Taking my shortcut. I know this map far too well. Trust me, I know this map better than I know with the place I actually live. 
I've got Los Santos burnt into my head. I can't, I'm struggling to say the name of the GTA 6 location. It's called like Leonodia or something like that. It's like meant to be the in game version of Florida. Hey, Leonodia? I'm me Devin Leonodia? Weston here. I can't Mr. say. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Let's go and very gently roll the car into the hangar for Mr. Weston. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like teen? No, not like teen, man. Exactly teen. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man. Right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no. Don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now... It is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Before oh, it's yeah. too late, man. Just take any car and go. Take any car and go. Okay. Which car will I choose? Probably this one. Oh, they're all the same. Bye. Franklin is out of there. Find where Lester is. Lester Vino. Michael. Did you a solid with Martin Madrazo? Need some help. Oh, it's the armored van. Ah, I've got some sticky bombs. Woohoo! Oh, 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 oh. Drop it! Let's go! Give it up! Make it easy on yourself! Back up is on the way! You punk ass thing! I'm done, man! Next one goes between the eyes! Who is it? Shit, I'm out! Maybe don't announce that next time. Taking the van. I'm not taking the van. Ah! Officers, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the one armed man. Oh. Officer, it wasn't me. It was the one armed man. Oh, they're chasing me. They have a plan. I think that was quite possibly one of the smartest decisions I have ever made. Oh. Be a very bad time for a tram to appear. Ah! 
bollocks. I've lost the cops, baby. Or there's no sunshine when she's gone. Listen how smooth that was to go underground. They didn't even see me coming. Didn't even know I was there. The fuck? The fuck? In my life, there's been heartache and pain. And I don't know if I can pay shit again. I've traveled so far and I've come so long to change this. Lonely life. I wanna know what love is. Look at the bullet holes in my t-shirt. I want you to show me. Dolphin dive over the ticket booth for you. Ah. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I love doing that. It's so funny. I love it. Hello. I need a vehicle. I need a vehicle. You'll do. You honk at me. Come on. Oops. No, you're not. Drive, 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 drive. Shit balls. The needle, let the C4 carry me. Whoop. See that? See that? See how we did that? That was good, wasn't it? Whoa! Oh. Reverse, 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 reverse. Who's that? Who are you? Kind of busy right now, dude. What's up, homie? How's everything going with you? Great. Really great. How are you? Well, I know how you are. So it's true what they say about you weirdos then. Hey, last night, I was in 45 different places at the same time. I know my truth, brother, brother. <laughs> Good for you then, homie. Run into the car. Mail. Somebody's got mail. Oh, jeez. Jinkies. Jeepers. Jinkies. Fuck. This <laughs> is that Scooby Doo move. Like a glove. Come on now, baby. Totally heard about Ooh, too that. Too close. Oh, why you gotta, why you gotta do that? Hello? So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Don't, don't buy. Don't, don't buy any of the stock.
Don't buy any stock until it falls through. Because it's all oh, because it's high right now, it's high to buy stocks in Bapid right now. But when he dies, it'll crash, and then you can buy your stocks and make your money back. Ah, I'm a bus driver, I drive for the Los Santos bus department. Sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. Saturday night and the traffic too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Looking for a place to What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. He, he didn't come into work today. I love your car. Da, 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 the right music. Yeah, the engine swings. Doing the bush driving. Come thing. on, that's disgusting. Do, do, Damn, do. would it kill you people to crack a smile? Driving bus in through. Driving buses through LS9. Do, 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 do. Welcome back to Nod Stop Pop. I'm <laughs> listening to the fastest radio station on this hey, side of the border. Get in, we're running late. Get in, we're running late. When this bus is full and the target is on it, what am I going to do? Because I can't. I can't kill a bus full of civilians. Oh, man. There's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit. That is disgusting. Hey, look out. We got those seatbelts back here. You should wear a seatbelt on a bus. That's true, actually. Why is there no seatbelts on a bus? Did anyone see fame or shame last night? Well, you're late, late, late. Oh, it's him, isn't That'll it? be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Fair hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Oh, oh my god! He's got a gun! Just business shit, you know how it is. No! I need a motorcycle! I've got hostages! That was not how I planned it. This is awful. He's giving me that motorcycle. I'm really sorry. Ah! Get up, Franklin. Get up, Franklin. Get up, Franklin. I'm really sorry. 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 Ah! Crime doesn't pay. No, I'm not. Crime doesn't pay. Crime doesn't pay. Remember that. Watch this. I've got a plan. Lips as sweet as candy. His face is on my mind. Oh. Yeah, you just don't realize When you hold me in your arms, so tight, you let me know everything's alright. Oh.
I'm losing the Albanian roses. Green light, good to go. Ooh, we're good to go, Lester. Your bus is oscillation. It went perfectly. It went perfectly, don't you worry about it. seem to find your Instagram. My Instagram? Well, I can fix that problem. One secondo. Let me put my old, my old Insta handle in the chat. Oh, that's an ugly motorcycle helmet. I don't like that one. Get off. You ever do this? You ever get off the bike until he takes his helmet off? Don't like that. Don't like the helmet. Okay, so there's a few underscores in there, which is probably why I don't have the easiest Instagram in the world. So it's. Let me try and do it. Probably need to make it just a lot simpler, but I don't. I don't know if you can change your Instagram handle. I don't use Instagram on, enough to know that much. So it's this. Um. So that is it. that is it. If you put that at symbol in front of that, that's my Instagram. It is possibly the ugliest looking display name. Now looking at it, I, I might try and change it at some point in the future. So it is. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't think. Ah, oh, cheers. Thank you. Might try and change it in the future at some point to change it. See if I can change the display to a different app because the app is just really annoying. I kind of had the, an idea at the time of what I was doing with it, being like, the I like the fact that it says like legit in it, but I changed it. I need to change it so it, it looks more nice to display. Is the Dinker meant to be a BMW? Kind of looks like the BMW i8, is it? Oh. Slick wheel work. <laughs> it's mad that that casino is open in GTA Online now. Like in the single player, it says coming soon. That whole yellow building, <laughs> racetrack thing, it's like an old casino building. And it's all modernized. Miss my turn in. Whoa! Don't worry, Michael. I'm coming to get you, but I'm coming to see it, Root. This car is beautiful. Whoa, Jesus! I'm here though. Give me a cheeky follow. Thank you very oh, much. Oh man, I feel like crap.
Michael, we gotta get you out of this goddamn Prius. We can't have you driving around in this. Let's go to Ponce and Biz and get a suit on for a start. And then let's also see if we can't pick you up a nicer car. There's a nicer car opposite. Always a nice car outside of Ponce and Biz. Never ever ceases to fail me. Well, ceases to fail me. Never ever fails me. No, I bought the no. I bought the wrong suit. It's not the suit I wanted. I dropped four grand on nothing. Got nothing left. We have that in multiple colors. I bet you do, Sharon. But I am a businessman with business uh, things. Oh, Jump over this fence. <laughs> Our bench. Let's have a look at this beauty. Oh. She's unlocked. It was like she was waiting for me. Let's see what this baby can do. Woo! The Buccaneer. Got wings on it. Is it meant to be an Aston Martin? I'm getting an Aston Martin feel from this. Whoop. Whoop. She wants to go faster, let's go faster. Oh, bollocks. I'm not got, I've not got Franklin's driving ability as Michael. What Shit, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that friggin' bumper cars. That bloody bumper cars. Smashed all the front of him. Okay, Mum. You know it. Look oh, round the corner. She handles like a dream. But NPCs don't smash into me! Come on. Oh, damage this beautiful thing. Cyclist move! Don't like cyclists. <laughs> Look at the damage on this car. <laughs> Look, at the... Look at the fucking state of the wheel. <laughs> I turned into a crushed Pepsi Max can. Here comes Trevor. What is this? Betty. <laughs> it's a thing. You said you wanted work. Trevor's truck this is called work. Betty, but you didn't uh -huh. know that. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Hello. Trevor. We're looking for Mr. Madras. I've got my blanket on because it's chilly. Right this way, gentlemen. I fucked that. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! To see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me? About Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old Martin friend. Martin Madrazo? Uh, truth. Martin. Changing my blanket. Is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. But some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello. What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. 
A man was a pay. Huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con unas gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Yeah, I'll go to the observatory in this piece of shit car that has now been destroyed. Hey. And let's stay in touch on the headsets. Credit to the manufacturing of this car that it's bust busted its front wheel. And yet it's still can drive like a dream. Mike, Mike, you're there. Whoa. Start, bike. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't job so what's it all about okay the guy lives well that don't mean we're robbing him but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him when the time comes he'll do the right thing if he don't please let me handle it you don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole right the fuck so you're gonna drive into me I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. Jesus Christ. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I don't see nothing yet. Thing's got a scope. I can snipe a flea off a fucking hay bale from 3,000 miles away. I got her. Southwest of the city. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. First try. First try. Come on now, baby. Oh, oh, oh she's moving at some speed. Nope. That'll go down next time. Oh, there you go. Shit. She's moving at some speed. First strike. Plane's coming down. You want it? I remember this mission. Trevor Phillips. There it is, boys. Gotta take this off road if I'm staying with the play. There's a small jump coming up.
make the runway. I'm gonna have to ditch this son of a bitch and hope for the best. How you doing out there? We still got him? I'm on him! He's past the airfield! Landing ain't gonna be pretty! Where are you putting it now? Did you make the Alamo Sea airfield? Can't pull it round! We have to put it down in the field somewhere. He could have made the Sandy Shaw's airfield. If he tried. There's a small matter of having to jump a moving train. Oh no! God, I miss it out here! You gotta come visit sometime! Yeah, you know what? I'm good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm gonna have to bring it down in dirt. God help us! Roger, November 9 and Charlie Echo. What is your status? God help us! But seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Call the cops. I'm working with the government. Ah, ah. I'm an important guy. You gotta help me out. Hey, we crashed. Sorry about that, buddy. T, how'd it go? Fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Oh, I've got to destroy the... I've got to destroy the van. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. It's beautiful. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. My what goal. are you doing, Trevor? Trevor. Nothing that you wouldn't do. Trevor, Trevor what have you done? Trevor. Uh, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Trevor, what have you done? Five, we're smashing, we're smashing. Woo! Power! The power of this jag. Look how it handles hills. Wee! Oh, it's my favorite cutscene. Where is he? It's my favorite cutscene. Let's go. I love this cutscene so much. I love it. Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Chief bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor. don't. Trevor! Answer the fucking question. I asked for a fair, fair day's, day's pay, pay after a fair day's, day's work. work. Then he, he kind of got, got a little angry. angry. So, so I, admit, I admit, I kind of got, got a little angry. angry. Did, you, did kill you kill him? What kind what of fucking, fucking animal, animal do you take, take me for? No, I didn't, I didn't kill him. him. Oh. oh, fuck. But, but I, I did kidnap wife. his wife. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> What's the now funniest? Now a nice little place we can <laughs> hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm Poor Michael's little face. Oh my god. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Oh. But, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah, right. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you hood, chop. Yeah, if that's not the scammiest email I've ever been sent in my fucking life, that is hilarious. <laughs> That's some scams are fucking hilarious. No one's gonna sponsor a YouTube channel under 10k subs. Nobody will sponsor a YouTube channel these days unless you have like a million subs. So I won't worry about it. If you're a small time content creator who gets sent emails, one, their emails are people you've never heard of, two, if their emails are people you don't even know, three, if they just look, the, uh, look and feel 
sketchy as fuck anyway. Just delete them straight away. Do not touch them or interact with them in the slightest. It's hilarious. Go on, chap, chap, get the ball. Fetch, boy. Go on, chap, chap, get the ball. Good, chap, good, chap. Get it, go on. All right, man, you cool. Bring it back, boy. Get the ball, chop, chop. Oh, God. Just don't know how far I threw that one. Hey, the boy, chop. Good boy. That's a trio, homie. Let's go for it. Best of all, chop chop. Good boy. Go get the ball, chop. You hood, chop. Get the ball for me, boy. Good chop, good chop. No, I didn't get scammed. It was just that people when you're when you're in channels when you do channels online and stuff, people will send you like the most sus emails you've ever seen. And it's hilarious. They just send you hilarious sus emails. Alright man, you cool. Get it, go on. Get inside, chop chop. That's trio, homie. You know the way home, chop. Go. Good boy. Me. Hey. Let me jump in the Pegasi and Finassi. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, she's fast. Oh. Shit. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Michael! Michael? Michael, where are you? Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him. We fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo C? Alright, well, I hit you if I find Bam. anything. PC, Absolutely. Baby. Uh oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, 
Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and I, you know, can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. <laughs> I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a <laughs> turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great, let's go! Oh, I gotta do it dressed like this? Hungry bumpkin? I don't want to be dressed like this. What are you this. going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Uh, okay, well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I gotta. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV. We got a crop duster? An old biplane from the Second World War? What the hell is this thing? A fly? Oh my god, it will. Run to Trevor! The Merriweather plane is in a holding pattern to the west. Try and keep under the radar. Air traffic's being monitored from the military base. I gotta fly this big yellow cabbage across the sky. Cargo planes on my twelve. They're gonna use those weapons for no good, King. They'll be better in our hands. Are you planning on forcing them to land? Didn't I say we had to take them in the air if we're to have any kind of shot at this? I thought I said that. You did. It's just I don't see how you're going to... Ah, you'll see. I have a plan, Ronald. Not a good plan, not a bad plan. We're flying by the military base now. Avoid it, boss! Don't fly over! Loud and clear! We know 
200 foot wingspan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough. Trust me, Ronald, I have a plan. I'm, I'm aware that at some point in this mission I have to get in that plane but if I can't go above a certain altitude until it tells me to I'm going to be a bit confused of how we actually get in there this thing. 
Come wow. in, air traffic control. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Merriweather jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Ron, Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. A problem. Attention, Mary Weatherjet. We are under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. <laughs> oh, or you could diddle yourself. Uh, Ron, I've got the fucking Air Force on me. Shit! Gain some altitude. They might not tangle with you up there. We'll see if that helps. Comply immediately. I'm landing at Mackenzie Field. We can discuss this there on the dirt like me. That is true. Realizing that this is from 2013 really does hit hard. Realizing that like GTA 6 will be 10 years. More than 10 years. Oh my god, 2020. From 2013 to 2023 would have been 10 years. Reach maxed altitude, Ron. This is your final warning. Divert now or be engaged. Hey, you wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. Let's do this fast and furious style, baby. Fast and furious style, motherfuckers. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> we do a backflip. Fail. Wee. <laughs> Going in the ocean. She's going in the sea. She's in the sea. She's in the sea. <laughs> that was sick. Coming out of the going out of the jumper in the car doing like 50 front flips like Fast and the Furious. That was amazing. All in all, not a bad day's work. <laughs> Mild turbulence. That's crazy. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Oh, thank God! <laughs> The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Time to say goodbye and shit.
Hell yeah, we can get Chef on board for our next job. New homing launcher. Miss me! <laughs> Not enough air, not enough height. Let's go, Trevor. Where the fuck is Michael? That is his classic Trevor outfit. Classic Trevor. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. I'll be damned. It's just a possession. <clears throat> Let it go. Now! <clears throat> I ain't no shitty boy. <laughs> he just gets smashed in the head and falls over. I ain't no shitty boy. <laughs>
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get a point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. I'm calling Lester. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. 
Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jason, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. That made my point. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> the bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? I love the little chats that they have with each other. Hipster. No, you call me a fucking hipster! <laughs> it's like so much like Eric and uh, Kyle from, from South Park. It's that. <laughs> Come on, man, knock it off. It's like throw, throwing pebbles at him, <laughs> throwing fucking stones at him. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, alright, you alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. <laughs> It's so much like Ky Cartman, Cartman and Cartman and Kyle. That's what it is. Hey, hey. It's Cartman hey. and Kyle. That's definitely Paradise. them too. Come on, cars this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <laughs> <sighs> it's dry okay, out here. Let's take a look at this bank. I wonder we'll what the, the Lester the character is going to be in GTA 6. Like the, 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 the nerd in the The guy in the chair. The guy in the chair. That's how the character. Before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. Little miscalculation there. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Drive over to the empty lot with the open top dumpster in it. Hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. All right. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, uh, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. 
respond. Bolito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito radio, this is Polito car three. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car-to-car -car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go! We're going! And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. This is Trevor Phillips. Trevor's not gonna beat us, he's on a motorcycle. I shouldn't have come, I should have known. We're fine, we're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to- Trevor's office? Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Ah, uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab, just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on US soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it? Or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talking? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right.
never beat us here. Yeah, well, at least we weren't arrested. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little, uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Yeah. Think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. He handled himself at the jewelry store. This really the guy you want? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael, and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. I need a car, brother. Oh, a motorbike. That'll do. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Daddy's been a bad boy. Daddy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> Daddy's been, sniff? <laughs> Daddy's been a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing the stuff. Oh, man. 
It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here, by calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. All right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Damn, these redneck fools know we own them now. No, Chop. We can't deal with them yet. It's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you like... What the... Hey, dog, can you like get on it? Cause these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. What do we do, kill him? in a row! Shit, shit, shit! Get on me! Look at you go, man! Look at you go! Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. 
I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Fuck the feds, Trevor Phillips. Enterprises. TP Enterprises. This is the mission with the special Easter egg in it. This is, I remember this mission. That was him. That was Bigfoot. We just found Bigfoot. Swimming? I am too. Fuck. This water is cold as a motherfucker. There he is. Burn you, I felt that. We close. Get him, chop. Fuck his ass up. I'm the last of my kind. Don't worry, I got you. Last guy's done, homie. All right. Stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. Yeah, this is the mission where you can find Bigfoot just standing in the woods in the thermal scope. 
Yeah, they're dogged. Good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna bar this and head back to town. Sure. But come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Headshots, headshots, mission accuracy, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. The convoy delivery charges. We gotta... Shoot, we gotta get some things for the heist. I mean... I can take a drive. Uno momento, I have a call to make, and then I'll be right back.
if I just randomly have to go, it's because someone's calling me back. But we will wait and we will see. Here. You and me? He's gonna have all manner. Ah! Oh, no, no, not this again. Shit. What the fuck? What the hell was that bullshit? No worries, have a great day. Thank you for tuning in for as long as you did. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good one.
Uh, yeah, just have a look at this real quick. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Closer to Devon. Ooh, too close. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. We got to sneak in and steal a little car. I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. This guy seems to be a real asshole. You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Anyone know who this guy is? Is, it, is this the new stun guy? At least get him a mask or makeup or something. Stop Please, him, you Bobby, idiots! I haven't approved this guy. Get him out of the car. Yeah, I'm sorry, fool. Ah! Oh my God! You hit him! What is going on? What are you doing? Method acting. Method acting, don't worry. Over, creepo! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! They're coming! Studio security are all over you! They ain't gonna be on us for long! Is this an abduction? Hey! Nah, you 
cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. This button says spikes? Damn, what's this button do? Where are the proper rocks when you need them? Uh. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing, too? Everything's still here, just like I found it. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Ah, practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davis. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sense intention here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. Here's what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. That is some crazy shit right there. Ah! Don't be no ah! wise ass punk, now give me that. Get out and help me, please, mister. He's gonna die. He's all red and dribbling. I'm scared. We gotta get him. Okay, don't... Fucking move. Money. Yeah. Trying to rob me, bitch. Shit. God damn. Blood on my new, new tuxedo. It's me, dog. Where we at? 
We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. Well, I haven't got a whole lot of health. There's a fucking price on me, and you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. We got an intruder! You sh yep, great. Yep, great. Great. I was glitched, I couldn't do anything. That was the game, not me. I couldn't do out in that situation, pal. Oh, oh I'm great. Really, Thank really you. Sorry. No, you know. Fuck you. Any more you bitches wanna get in my way? Where's Enzo? Where the fuck is he? I'll blaze all you fools if I have to. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers.
wanna fuck with me, I'll lay all y'all ass down. He's here! Get the- I ain't playing here, where the fuck is Benelli? How the hell did he even get up here? I'm done screwing- Damn, how many of these fuckers are there? Shit, there he is! Stay on Enzo! We got him trapped! Shoot that son of a bitch! Will somebody kill that ah. fucking asshole? Ah. I gotta get covered! Ah. Oh, shit! Look at motherfucker! Ah. It's a long way down! Hey, you work for that, homie. We're doing it, we're doing it properly. Man, oh man, no, we're not! Geez. We're doing it the shit way! Ah, no! We ruined it, we ruined it! Good, I'm glad actually, I'm glad we mission failed there because I wanted to do it properly. If I was doing it, I wanted to do it right. Oh shit, there! There he is! Stay on Enzo! Down. It's a long way down. Got their dies. Got their dies. Nice and steady, Franklin. Nice and steady. Perfect. Perfect. Up here. Yeah, baby. One out of fifty letter scraps collected. Fair enough. <laughs> Tally ho! Here we go! Wee! Dun 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 Oh shit! Bollocks! Open the parachute, Franklin! Franklin, no! Damn it! I can't seem to get it right. Oh shit, there he is! Stay on Enzo! We got him trapped! Shoot that son of a bitch! Somebody kill that fucking animal! Hey, you 
work for that, home. Wasn't exactly as planned, but hey, it's taken care of. Is what man, it is. That shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Party's over then. <laughs> Solve the mystery of Lenora Johnson. Isn't that CJ's mum? My high setup mission's gone. Because Michael's pissed. Wait, is Michael pissed? you like. Back anytime. <laughs> I wanted to see the difference. You get actually like longer stubble.
Martine, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. That will take some doing. Oh shit, I skipped this conversation back to me. Oh fuck. Oh, this is just not my day. Oh, this is just not my day. What was he doing? <laughs> gonna get ugly. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. It ran, it ran it into the truck. What, what was it supposed to do? So we did it! Les, that military hardware we needed. It's parked out back of Trevor's office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab.
It's 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 not inappropriate. It's it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's she's a sixty-year-old housewife. Ow, she's fifty-seven, and she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Thirty years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey! You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in. They grab the tape. They rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Does that, uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Polito Bay. Let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! You, generic goon. What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. I think I was spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. What is interesting is my biggest job. The Bank of Liberty City. Ah, shit, yeah. I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. Sounds like you were the right guy to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. 
Man, the whole score was two stacked. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, homie. Money was useless then. Die pack. <laughs> you amateur. I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all got to start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. Uh, and never the two shall meet. Uh, if we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die pack? Man, fuck you, sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? Right. In a way, it was good that they just entertained you whilst I was driving. Bow bow, 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 bow Alright, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. Oh shit, sorry. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. Alright, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break and risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. You all ready? Let's go! Let's fucking do this. On the ground! We're here for the bank's money, not yours! This is a power thing? Today 
He's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! The door should be ready! Come over here and kick it, Em! Time to meet this alarm guy? Yeah, fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! <laughs> Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Over it! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. <laughs> Sweet. Tank? No, bullets. We should split him up! I'll go over here! Harry caused some trouble! You get back to Frank! Sit tight, man! Okay! I ain't dead yet! I'm on my way! 
So I guess we shooting our way out of here. this up. Hey, I'm here. How you doing, son? You hear that gun fire? That's... There's a ride. Good, good. Go, 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 go! Come on, bitch! Fuck me in the ass. Go left! There's another tank coming from the right. Hey, quite a disturbance you caused. Ah, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on. You guys been making friends? That's the tank we saw getting an airlift. Running for the factory's our only shot. Hey, let's get that train. Frank, you don't want to get out front. Stay behind me, kid. I got the armor. I'm starting to feel under dress, dog. Frank! There's even more of these! Train is the only shot. Let's go. Yo, easy, easy. I'm a friendly agent Sanchez, our very own corrupt G man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right, because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. <laughs> if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh, yeah. Uh, fuck. Big fucking win. Woo! Monstrous. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the World to go. Get your crew together, okay? 
Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Right. Fuck. Seatbelt. Serious? Why have I been left on the quad bike? Small town, big job. You can actually notice that Patricia's cleaned it all up. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. <laughs> so what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy. It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby. Yeah. Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. Wait, I ain't doing this job without the correct attire on. Fuck yeah. I'm good to go. Let it go. Alright, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it! Make it a fast boat! Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So, it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes! This is a high-value courier service run by... <laughs> Merriweather! Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel trains. Gold. Sometimes gold, sometimes artwork, priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, the magical train. I've got a ticket! Hold up! Don't leave without me! Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, oh, getting whoa, whoa, whoa. changed? What have what have you turned into? Chugga, 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 chugga. So many mountains. No, oh fuck. Is that my last chance? 
I think that was my last chance, wasn't it, boys? Ah, oh, that was my only chance. Oh, come on, bro. No, not this fucking helmet. Fucking moron. No, oh, I don't want to wear don't helmet. Leave without me. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Whoa, 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 whoa. getting changed? What have, what have you turned into? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck, train killed me. What? What? You gotta do it with the. How important is the bike to the overall mission? Whoa. Got a basketball on my head. There's a new conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Toledo Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Train ain't stopping here, boys! You under the bridge? Approaching the inlet now. I'll power through to the bridge. I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Oh. Shit! Shit! Oh! Oh! Shit! to steal. Don't be smart. Find the loot. Our moment of judgment is for It's about fucking time! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. here bro you want to swap places grips something already I'll find something when I find something Michael they got shooters 
on the track. You still got that thermal scope on your rifle? Find the shooters with it before they find me. Woo! I got one of the bastards. You want to die in a government holding facility? Find something and go. Hey, you ain't motivating me. I'm moving as fast as I can. No more sniper, so you can come out as soon as you find something. Hurry it up, man. I can tell you I'm looking, or I can actually look. Now the parachute regiment turns up. I'm gonna run out of bullets at this rate. Come on! Keep them away from me, man. I'm looking. Bro landed in a helicopter crash and <laughs> set himself on fire. Forgot to say, nice outfit! And by nice, I mean lame! We got a buzzard on our tail! You feeling alive? Juice pumping! Through your glands? My glands are just fine, without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa, man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? The times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. Ron organized some transport for us. His and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. Perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be Deadman in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester 
and Franklin on board, we could do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. You keep the case. Fuck me, okay? Hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady, and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember. I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Cape Catfish. I gotta get over there. Oh, I got a plan. I've never tried it in single player before. But is it doable? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Not possible. It's not possible. You can't rub a jet single play. Not possible. But it was possible then for a little second. I don't think it's possible. Because even though I killed the guys right next to me, they still armor guys spawned in right over me. Right over me. Don't think it's possible. I'm afraid I don't think it's possible. You can buy body armor. Hey, dude, just buy something and leave, okay? Bought some super go. heavy.
Oh, it's the no country from old from, of no country for old men Easter egg. Don't do it! Stay away from that case! Should've known that was too good to be true. Zancudo no fly zone, divert or you will be shot down. Fly a jet. I got to fly a jet. I 
just felt the way that that angled perfectly. I just felt that was going to happen. I could just, no, and you can just feel it in your bones. That's what I could feel. Well, enough fucking around. I wanted to prove to myself that I could steal that. That jet. Taxi as soon as you can. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Wonderful. Come here. Somebody come here. Oh. 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 Shit. oh. oh. Call the cab. I went straight into GTA mode, GTA 4 mode, and held down Y and he yanked the guy out of the taxi cab. Call just came in. Who wants to do a pickup right now? Not me, boss. Me, bad boy. Let's go. Going on, ladies. <laughs> Trevor Hello, makes the Trevor. best entrances. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh, All right. I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know. You know, frankly, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck. Is useless. Oh, uh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Can y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, 
You want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on! Come on, Mr. Leisureware, Mr. Depressed Accountant! Let's go save America! Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit! Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're no, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the... Freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes. Instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. That should do it. That was cool. Who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. 
Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Hands up, you, now. Against the wall, quick. Can we get a move on? Hands where I can see them. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out! Collect the swipe card. All right, we go. How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. They're down. Let's go. Corridor goes around to the left. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. judgment call I dare you just a little pin prick what can a pin prick do ask the monkey go on a tiny amount on your hand they've gone we've got some time swipe us in come on lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce come on open the door I don't know what you think you're doing He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Pause it. We got company. I got this. You! Hands up! Back up! Back up! And freeze! We get collateral! You want a bargain? What's nerd face worth? Open up! The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agents. Get moving, now! This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Damn it. We need to get the nerve agent into a refrigeration unit. Facility security has been compromised. Warning, warning. It's gonna get heavy here. Use a real gun. Agency security. I thought it was going to be possible to go past this, but it, it isn't. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security alert. Facility breached. You got the right weapon? The 
Sent out. Expect reinforcements. Just what I need. I got a nerve fucking. Eat. in the refrigeration unit. It's over in that container. Come on! Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell-by. Okay, steady. Ah, easy done it am. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out! is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig. And we need a flying pig rig right now.
Really? <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> There's not... Sorry, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. <laughs> you mistreat you. I know. I know. You get to see a side of Trevor that you've never seen before. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! Uh, the way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I gotta go to the Spoochie Beach. That was close!
this speed jump and see if this is a pass or a fail. Um, yeah, it's gotta be a pass. What? God fucking damn it. Nothing, nothing I can do, pal. I just got hit by a car. Man. Sorry, boss. No money back for you. That was too slow. Trevor trying to be a, a true Trevor in Los Angeles who gets the shitty suit on. Whoa! Oh. You I miss you already! What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin! You ain't my g-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet! Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in, huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! <laughs> Look, this is all... I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my car! I told 
you. I've got a career. I don't need this. 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 Crap. Yes. There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap. <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob, talk to me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. <laughs> what the fuck happened at that gondo? I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup! Accidents! We've all been there! We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup! Don't taste me! Alright? Just... No licking! Okay. Hey! You remember when we met? Sure! Last year! I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... and and you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is... You can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at Strip Club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here! Mm, right here! Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie! Hey, you, you two! You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. What the fuck? Trevor. Tre Trevor. No. <laughs> no. There's Michael. Hey, Lester. Hey, oh. uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah. I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin.
the hell has Jimmy done to this car? What the hell has Jimmy done? You're coming home with me, sweetie. Baby, we get you fixed up. Ah, I'm never gonna get used to the silence. Oh, I pushed it down with my head. Guess I never needed it. Another one. Two. Bam. Okay, bam. I'm Next one goes between the eyes. Read the cops are on their way. Ah, just in case I wasn't having enough fun already. Oh, fuck you. Trevor! My boy Mike! Good to see you! How the fuck you doing? I know he ain't cheap. Cause he love me. Can you ask a DJ to play some hardcore? Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score. And then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? 
I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alpha Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before, something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Yeah, 
The, the security is internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Sounds doable. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole.
Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I don't want it to be, I think this is going to have to be the end of today's live stream. We've streamed for four and a bit hours. I'll get the exact hours up in a minute, hours and minutes in a minute, but, <laughs> in a minute. But, um, I'm going to save the game because I think we're going to get into more juicier parts. And I, it's about half past two and I've been having this thing since, since leaving my ex job and focusing on doing YouTube full time. I've been doing this thing where I'm, I'm doing mornings for gaming and YouTube hours and office stuff hours. And then I'm going to switch over to doing my physical health and fitness and gym exercising and that type of stuff. So that is what I'm doing with my days. And then in the evening, I see my partner and it's been a nice way of balancing out my life whilst we've been exceptionally busy. But I'm going to put it back onto windowed mode. Because it's always a good thing to remind myself to do. Windowed. So the screen will go black. Black for a second. There we go. Hello on OBS. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. My hair's gone a bit crazy. It's gone a bit spiky, a bit wild today. But ladies and gentlemen, can I just say a massive thank you. We've been streaming now for four and a half hours today. If we look at what we did yesterday, let's have a look at that. Let's look at the channel stats. So in the last 28 days, we've gone up 39 subscribers. Fantastic. Absolutely smashed that. Um, your hard work has paid off publishing more helped your channel get to 90% more views than usual so we've gone up 90% on the views which is insane 
and our watch time has increased by loads so you guys are smashing it uh, the subscribers are doing well um, and you guys are absolutely delivering your part the deal part of the bargain is you guys have to turn up and watch the videos and you're smashing that so thank you for doing so it means a lot to me you bloody legends so thank you let's look at the playlist for the GTA content let's look at the videos here show we've gotten GTA 3 188 views on that live stream it was a nine hour long live stream then Vice City Part 1, 318 views. That was a five and a half hour live stream. Then GTA Vice City Part 2 was five hours 28. That was 174 views. Then San Andreas Episode 1 was eight hours. Um, that was 238 views. Then we had the San Andreas Part 2, which was six hours, 319 views. Then we had San Andreas for three hours, 43. That was 73 views. A five hour San Andreas video that got 119 views. Then that was the finale for San Andreas. Then we started with episode one of GTA 4. That was three hours and 18. That was 422 people watched that one. So that was our biggest one to date. That's insane. GTA 4 part two, 265 views. That was three hours um, and, a, and oh, nearly four. Three hours 55. So it's nearly four hours. Then a two hour, two and a half hour stream on GTA 4. That got 66 views. Another two hour, oh, nearly three hour stream that got 38 views. And then our penultimate, so second to last GTA 4 one, that was four hours and 38. That got 184 views. Then our finale, which was two hours 55, so nearly three hours, that one got 72 views. Um, what else? What else? Part one of GTA 5, that was our five and a half hour live stream, that's 78 views. Four and a half of oh, four four hours and fifty three was part two, so that's nearly five hours again. That's eighty eight views, and then today's obviously is five, uh, four four hours and forty one, and we'll have to wait twenty four hours before I can process it and see what the, uh, what what do you call it? What the view count is for this stream today? But we've had some great interactions in the chat today. Uh, massive shout out to everyone who came by and said hi. Um, it makes my stream go a lot quicker. It makes my stream feel a lot more alive when people are there chatting and, and, and stuff and messaging stuff. Um, it was nice to see some regulars. It was nice, nice to see some new people. Uh, you guys are crushing it though. I love making this content because I love seeing the impact it gives you guys and the feedback you guys give me. Like I say, we're on that road to get to 7k subs at the moment. And if we do a sub count right now, we are aiming, let's say 7,000 we're aiming for. So 6574. So we're 426 subscribers away from hitting that 7K before GTA 6 comes out, which would be a really nice thing. I think if we can try and get to 7K by the by the start of next year, 7K would be great to hit this year. Um, and moving our way up to then the 8, the 9, and then eventually the double figures, baby, and going to 10K. That's the big goal at the moment. The big mountain Everest is 10K at the moment, but we're slowly chipping away to get to 7K which has been a hard slog at the moment, but we're getting there and um, we're doing well because it's just consistency. At the end of the day, I turn up and I do my job. I provide you guys the content. You guys turn up, you do your job, you watch the content. It's a 50-50 dynamic and I'm loving that you're here for it. So thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to get a vlog coming out pretty soon at the start of April. Uh, me and my missus are going on our longest road trip ever. So that's going to be quite fun. We're going to upload that to the Telen channel. Um, yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much. There's a video going live tonight on the 22nd of March at 8 p.m. It's how to get your brand new GTA car for free in GTA Online. So thank you very much for watching. And I appreciate it massively. I love you guys.